Hi, my name is Sabrina Van Bever, and my photographer presentation is on Nadia Lee Cohen. And these are pictures of her. So Nadia Lee Cohen is a photographer, fashion and photographer, filmmaker, and self-portrait artist. Um, she was heavily influenced by 60s and 70s cinema, um, both British and Americana, uh, like cinema, like old Hollywood, I would say. And um, some elements of her photography are surrealism, and they're often like dreamy, bright, and very colorful. And they depict dreamlike sceneries, um, somewhat like unrealistic and utopian. And mo usually they tell a very powerful story. Um, and when I say powerful, I mean, obviously photos are supposed to tell a story um, in general, but her photos are taken specifically to where you can really build um, a detailed story out of it. Um, so basically, just to give you a background on her, um, she was born November 15th, 1990. She grew up on a British farm, and when she was younger, her parents would help create sets in her garage for photo shoots and other photo projects, which you'll see becomes a very common theme in her photography. Um, she does very elaborate sets um, to emulate like a cinematic look to her photos. Um, but basically, um, she went to f fashion school, and she graduated with the highest honors in uh, with her bachelor's and master's in fashion photography. And one of her biggest inspirations uh, and like muses behind her photography since she was young um, was just the vibe of Hollywood, like the glamorous um, perfection and brightness and hopefulness of the whole pop culture Hollywood scene. Um, and once she got there and realized that's not at all how it really is, um, all of that played a role in her photography. Okay, so basically her, some of her early work um, that put her kind of on the map was um, her American Nightmare portrait collection from 2012, um, which m much of this um, was inspired by The Shining, um, Stanley Kubrick's um, take on Stephen King's The Shining. Um, and it actually won a British National Portrait Gallery's Taylor Wessing Portrait Prize, which is one of the most prestigious photography awards you can get as a photographer. Um, and this is a little collection from that American Nightmare um, from that whole collection of photographs. So this section is, um, it's called v Viva Hookie Street, and it was shot on the set of a 1980s British sitcom, Only Fools and Horses. So this kind of shows you how she kind of frames her photos um, in a more like cinematic way. Like these look like they could be straight from a movie or TV show. So yeah, once we get into these other ones, you'll see. Um, another um, really important um, project she put out um, was this portrait book called Women, um, and there's a hundred portraits of uh, pretty much all women. Yeah, all women, and um, it's very hyper surrealist. Um, there's a lot of pop culture references. Um, obviously, it's called Women. You could probably assume it's um, women empowering, and that is what it is. And it's very much inspired by like uh, retro, and, and like it's kind of retro futuristic. And it took her seven years to make this because she really wanted these pictures to look like they were film stills rather than static images, um, which is basically just like a normal photo. And uh, so this is one photo from that book. And like like I said, it really looks like it could be like a shot from a movie, like a movie, a still from a movie. And in particular, like almost like, it kind of reminds me of like King Kong for some reason, almost like it's, it's like an old like 60s type B movie. Um, if that makes sense, like sci-fi, like that's kind of the vibe it gives me. Um, these are also from the, the same book, and like I said, yes, they look like the main character like of a movie. Um, I can almost envision them like to starting to talk. Like I just very much feel um, like these pictures are very animated and um, very much depict uh, old older seventies like Hollywood vibes, if that makes sense. Um, and then these these two, obviously, the one on the left very much gives me fifties Elizabeth Taylor vibes, um, and. Also, too, in these shots, I feel like the women look very confident, and obviously there's some nudity and stuff, and they still look very um, prideful and confident, which just kind of, um, and if you can see this one on the right, uh, it's the main focus is on the woman getting her hair done, and the man is cooking for her, and he's all kind of, uh, obviously his stomach's like hanging over, and he's very much untrimmed, and he just does not look um, as ready and done up as the woman does. And so it's pretty much, you can very much see um, how these photos communicate the um, point of the book, which is basically female empowerment and like freedom and stuff. So, and yes, this one too, um, almost kind of gives me Madonna vibes, uh, as if this was like maybe a paparazzi shot, like kind of like that. But then also this, these drawings and tattoos on her body give it more of like a modern twist, I guess. Um, and yeah, so 
her style uh, is basically, obviously you kind of got a little bit of a hint of what her style is. Um, her subjects are often posed in an exaggerated manner or maybe even uncomfortable. It just looks very much exaggerated. Um, and when I say exaggerated, that pretty much applies to everything in the photo. The colors are exaggerated. Um, the props are exaggerated. The um, Everything is just very um, like hyper-realistic. Like, it's almost like you feel like it's a fake, like 